hello everyone today i would like to demonstrate how to control the four wheeled robot car using a remote control and these are our major requirements for the simple project for today we need a four wheel robot car chassis which i have already demonstrated how to set up this chassis in one of my previous videos we also need motor driver to control the four motors that control the wheels of the chassis we shall need an Arduino on board an air receiver and a remote control this is the diagram showing the setup in simplified form where I have shown the voltage to be used because I'm going to be using three 9 volt batteries so I'm going to set up my batteries like this then this is my board this is my motor driver and these are my four motors then this is my IR receiver now let me have a closer look at the motor driver and how to connect it to the robot car chassis and the Arduino board because this is the most confusing part for the connections for our project so this simple diagram shows you where we're going to be connecting each of the various components of this motor driver and the corresponding outlets so here we're having the left motors the positive terminals of the motors are going to be connected to this terminal and this is going to be a negative part and the right motors this is the negative and that is the positive for the motors then you're having the power supply where we are going to connect this one on the motor driver this part is the board has 12 volts this middle is the ground and this part is the bottom 5 volts but in our case remember i've used the um, over 27 volts because i'm using four geared motors which need a high voltage so i'm going to connect this terminal to the positive terminal of my 27 volt battery then this middle part has two connections one connection is going to be connected to the ground of the Arduino board and the other part is going to be connected to the negative terminal of the battery then this other 5 volt terminal is going to the Arduino board then here we are having these 4 inputs is input 1, 2, 3 and 4 these are the ones which are going to be controlling the movement of the wheels and they are going to be connected to pin 10, 11, 12, and 13 in this order. This is how I set up mine, but you can use a different order. Although the order I use can also affect the way you're going to be programming your code. So, this is a simple demonstration of how to use the motor driver. This is my assembled chassis. Because the major problem with this setup is the power supply. So what I've done here is I'm using three nine volt batteries so that it can provide me 27 volts because I'm assuming that each of the motors driving the wheels is consuming five volts. So the minimum I can have is 20 volts. So I'm providing 27 so that I can provide enough energy to drive my wheels for some good time. Then also the Arduino board should have its own power supply. So I'm having an extra 9 volts here, which is going to be used to power the Arduino board. Then this is my motor driver. And I have a simple lily pad switch here 
which controls the power supply to the motor driver then the rest of the wiring is done according to the diagram which I've already shown you so just for the diagram and you have such setting this is our IR receiver connected here to this board this is the code for the project the code is simple because it's just going to be using the IR remote control so you can check in one of my previous videos I've already talked about the use of IR remote control and how to get the codes for the various buttons of the remote control so in this case I'm going to be using my remote control I'm going to be using buttons 2, 8, 6, 4 and 5 and these are the corresponding decimal codes for the buttons I'm going to be using and these codes I've already talked about in the previous video the major thing I like to talk about maybe okay this one these are the pins 13, 12, 11 and 10 are coming from the motor driver input pin 1, 2, 3 and 4 which I've already demonstrated in the diagrams that I've been showing before then here we are going to control the movement of the wheels using the switch case we are the wheels can be programmed as moving forward backward right left and then stop so for the wheels to move backwards it means we are going to be pressing the second button or button two and in that case the pin 13 is going to be high pin 12 low pin 11 low and pin 10 high so this is going to be forward and these corresponding codes demonstrate the backward and right left and then a stop of course a stop means all the pins will be low because the wheels will not be moving so this is the simple code for our project Yeah, now I've connected the Arduino board using the 9 power, 9 volts battery. And I want to test if the wheels are moving in the correct direction when I'm using the remote. But I to avoid a lot of errors, so I'm going to test try this guy is in raised ground. So I'm going to get my plastic, then press the car on top so that I can able to see how these wheels are going to move when the remote control then before you press the remote control I have to first power so I'm going to press the switch on so that the wheels are powered so that the wheels are powered then I'm going to press of course remember according to our program 2 is forward 8 is backward the six is left, four is right, so and five is stop. So I'm going to just be demonstrating this. So if I press two, all the wheels move. Press five, stop. Press eight, they move in the opposite direction, stop. When I press four, the wheels decide move on. When I press six, decide down to move. Press 5 stop. So they have tested that my wheels are working properly. If you see that the wheels are not working properly, then that means there's a problem with the way you have programmed the software. So you need to go back to the software and change the the wheel the arrangement of the wheels in the software so that you can get the correct arrangement. So after that we can be able to test our robotica on the actual ground to see how it is going to move 